I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the presentation where you will be a participant or an observer. There will be two options. One, you'll actually be able to go to a live presentation from one of your classmates who may be two or three weeks ahead of you and they're finished all their investigative work and now they know what they want to present. They're going to present a live session for about 25 minutes followed by a 10 to 15 minute Q&A. They're going to invite you and you'll have a chance to go and join the presentation. This may inspire you to say, hmm, I'd like to try that or that was a really nice idea. This gives you a chance for Q&A after where you can ask some very specific questions about what they've learned. You'll need to email me a record of which live presentation you attended. Option two, due to circumstances beyond your control, you might not be able to make a live presentation, but you will have an opportunity to watch two recorded presentations instead. The recordings are all in the forum and you can go there and take a look and click on them and watch them and after watching them, you can gather your thoughts about what you have learned from the recordings. For each of the two presentations you watch, you will need to write a 750 word reflection that answers what ideas or concepts stood out for you. Why did they stand out for you? How will these ideas or concepts impact your practice? You'll also need to identify two resources that the presenter has posted and explain how this resource will inform your practice and provide specific details. You will need to submit both reflections in the presentation form as a reply to the presentation you observed. Also send a copy of both reflections to Duane for his records. Please refer to the presentation, observation, live, or recorded section of the course activities document for full details. Since participating in a live presentation with a Q&A is more beneficial, and also since there is a considerably more amount of work in watching two recorded presentations and doing the subsequent reflections, we encourage you to strive to attend a live presentation. Now, Having said that, there's nothing stopping you from going to two or three live presentations or recordings. Remember, the most important part of this activity is to attend at least one live presentation or two recorded ones.